This is actually some tropical moisture that's kind of feeding off the energy from what is now tropical storm Milton in the Gulf of Mexico. This has been strengthening pretty quickly in the last 24 hours. It was upgraded to a tropical depression yesterday, then just a few hours later, a tropical storm. It's now producing sustained winds of 60 miles per hour as it moves towards the east at five miles per hour. So still not moving very quickly, but it is expected to pick up the pace a little bit as it goes through the Gulf of Mexico, getting close to the Yucatan Peninsula as it strengthens into a hurricane likely later today and then a major hurricane before it closes in on the Florida Gulf Coast late Wednesday. This is forecast to make landfall along the Florida coast, but our forecast models still have not full agreement when it comes to where exactly this will make landfall. Highest likelihood at this point looks somewhere along the central Florida coast, but we still need to fine tune where that exact landfall location location will occur regardless of where it makes landfall or where it uh, where it strengthens and how strong it is among landfall. We'll still see widespread heavy tropical rain across the state of Florida. Rainfall, however, not expected in North Georgia. We're far enough away from this tropical system that I don't think we'll see much of any impact here aside from maybe a few additional clouds. In part, that's because of our next incoming cold front. That cold front currently sitting up towards the northwest of us behind it. It's got some nice chilly air that stretches through Colorado. Colorado, as well as Nebraska, and this will move down towards the southeast, arriving in North Georgia by tomorrow. This will bring in some cooler, more fall like air for much of this week, but it will also help to steer Milton, keeping it down towards the south so that we don't see those impacts across Metro Atlanta. Instead, our forecast is very quiet. Lots of sunshine the next few days, still warm afternoons, even once that cold front passes. So highs will be in the low to mid 80s today and Monday and then fall down into the 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. The biggest time you're going to notice the difference is definitely in the mornings. It's going to get chilly around here come midweek. We'll fall to overnight lows right around 60 degrees by Wednesday. By Friday morning, we'll be in the low 50s. Some spots will even get down into the 40s. So get those sweaters and jackets ready. You may not have needed them so far this season. This will be some of the coolest air we have seen so far this fall.